hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who are new my name is Nelvis Mwangi if you've not subscribed please join the gang hit that notification bell get updated anytime I post a new video so karibu sana for all our new subscribers and if you are an old subscriber mm, let's do what we always do you know <laughs> so anyway without further ado let's dive right into our today's vlog kabla hatu jans of vlog my nails were done what do you guys think about them and of course my dress uh, of course my dress it's from an Instagram page we have to appreciate them all right so I'll be leaving all these details down below hi so now let's carry on I'm extremely happy I don't know why I'm happy but I'm just here to enlighten my fellow subscribers and uh, you know we are a family you know I have some tea to spill but let's do it slowly by slowly you know <laughs> you know how we do it uh, the company that I did my like a section with they're not very very happy with my vlogs truth be told the reason is uh, after I posted my last vlog uh, last week on Wednesday uh, guess what happened the following day I received a call and um, Someone said, hello, my name is XXX, I'm calling from this company, why? Am I speaking to Nelvis Mwangi? I was like, yes, sure, you're speaking to Nelvis Mwangi. What's up, how can I help you? And um, the person said, we've just watched your vlog and uh, we are not extremely happy because uh, the video is not taken out of our content. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, that's lemon water. So the video was not taken out of our content and we would like you to pull down your video. <clears throat> what did you just say? We would like you to pull down your video. If you will not take down your video, then we'll be forced to take some legal advice. And then I responded by saying, mm -hmm, okay, you, let me do a few consultations here. I'll get back to you. She hand up. So after doing my consultations, of course, I reached out to my lawyer and he said um, the kind of advice I was given is I shouldn't take down my video because guys, tell me, do you guys need a consent, for example, yeah, to say that a tumor was removed from your body from KNH or Nairobi Hospital? Do you guys need an approval from that hospital to talk about it? I'm just here extremely talking about my journey, you know, I'm just explaining to people how my journey was. But why are you guys not happy? First of all, you're not even paying me for me to advertise you. And guys, if you're very, very keen, that's the reason why. For my last two vlogs about Lipo, I have never even mentioned the name of the company. You know why? We shall find that out later. So, apparently, uh, on the day that I posted my last vlog, all right, the company reached out to one of the biggest bloggers right now. You know, the key of tennis. <laughs> AKA Ego Barre. <laughs> the company reached out to him. Hey, we would like you to advertise us, blah blah blah. That was immediately after I posted my video on last year on the but Stina said, I'm sorry, it can't happen. He refused. Reasons being uh, you know, you know, people have been talking, people have been trashing this company because of one, two, three things. All right the other day i actually saw on uh, edgar's page you know he was talking about uh, cosmetic surgeries okay and this company people are not happy about their services there are few regrets that i have here and there but i don't like having these kind of regrets because i already did it okay i want to be as transparent as possible to you guys the first mistake that i did before doing my surgery was i didn't do enough research in terms of research i mean i didn't go probably to like medical board okay to see i mean clinics that are you know registered and licensed to do this for me what drew me was just the affordability so guys just to clarify something my two vlogs that i've posted are previously about my journey i am entirely basing on my journey okay 
my experience it's not like ideally I'm promoting any business or any clinics but however I can still give recommendations on doctors you know that are qualified and also in regards to I saw this company was attacking me like well would I use someone else theater those are called bureau footages you know ideally I'm just showing people like what happens in a theater that is what you expect I'm not here to promote any company, all right? But if my f people here, you know, ask me for recommendations, then I can comfortably say yes. I can go to this hospital, this one is licensed, and so on and so forth. When the deal is so sweet, think about it. Earlier this week, I visited uh, the medical board, and you know, I was there inquiring if at all I was to get another cosmetic surgery. For sure i would like to do people licensed by you people are registered by you and was so okay with it you know i was given like a list of and doctors even who are well known out here okay people who do plastic surgery people who do cosmetic surgery and wow shock on me the company is not licensed the company is not registered so what exactly are you guys hiding you know the truth is to be honest guys there's there's so much that probably i didn't mention because if at, if at all i was to air some dirty linings about this company i would definitely i would i'm actually thinking about doing a few more procedures to redo the things that didn't go very well according to what i expected anyway that one will be on my next vlog guys let me show you show you what exactly what i was not happy about are you guys seeing this hmm? Look at my sides. The scars that are left. Why am I having this kind of fallings? Why? What is the reason? Before you do your procedure, make sure that you have researched very well that these people registered because this is your life. To be honest, I felt so bad when I realized like this company is not registered or is not licensed. I, I really felt so bad. This is joking with people's lives and it's not right. Choice is yours, at least I've enlightened you in one way or the other. If you have anything to share with me, please feel free to comment down below. Let's enlighten each other. And if at all you have to go for a cosmetic surgery, please do your research and I'll help you do it. I'll give you information that you require, but avoid, avoid at all cost clinics and people are not registered or even licensed. So guys, in conclusions, I'll definitely give a few recommendations that I know of good doctors like Dr. Adam from Platinum, I have Dr. Barry from Da Vinci and Human Touch from um, Riverside. There's so many. You know, I'll be leaving all those details on my description box, so don't worry, I got you. So if your doctor does not appear, then question yourself, alright? So guys, that's it. That's all I had for you guys today. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Get updated anytime I post a new video. So yes, I'll see you on my next video next week. Bye.